In this video, I'll give you the first tool you need to start as a Java developer. Hey, Code Operative here, helping you reach further, faster in the programming world. If this is our first time meeting, welcome to the channel. The Code Operative channel is for developers of any level. This is a resource that will help you be confident in your skills and solutions. If that sounds appealing to you, hit the subscribe button, the bell, and keep watching to build those programming muscles every day. All right, let's get started on installing JDK 11. So first, you're gonna to wanna to open up your web browser and then go to your favorite search engine, type in JDK 11 and you should see a page that says Java SE Development Kit 11. Then, uh, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see a download section. Make sure you select Accept License Agreement. And then select your operating system. So I'm going to select Windows, because that's my operating system. And once that's finished, you can go ahead and show in folder, and then right click run as administrator uh, go ahead and select yes we'll say preparing to install you just go through here if you want to change your install location you can change it here by clicking the change button I'm not going to do that so once the installer is done you can just press the close button close all this stuff you're going to open your start menu and you're going to type in system variables click this button your system property should pop up and once they pop up you'll see a button in the bottom right saying environment variables go ahead and click that select your path variable for your uh, local user press edit once you have this open what I want you to do is open up your file explorer and then navigate to the install location that you selected. So the default one is in C, Program Files, Java, JDK 11, bin. And then in here you should see the Java EXE and Java C EXE. All right? So go ahead and go to the URL bar here and copy that and then go back to your edit box for your path variable add a semicolon and then paste that path and then what you're going to do is press OK 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 go ahead and open up your command prompt now that we have our command prompt open we should be able to see what version of Java is installed so if we do Java Dash version, we get Java version 11. So Java C dash version. So this is the version of your Java compiler. Also, Java C 11. And that's how it's installed. Thanks for watching, guys. In this video, you learned how to install the JDK on a Windows machine. So tell me, what got you into development? Put that in the comments down below.